So you want to restore cast iron, but you don't want to build a lie bath. Maybe you live in an apartment or maybe you just have a single piece of cast iron you want to restore. Easy off is a great way to get the job done. Now you're going to want the easy off with the yellow cap. This does contain lye. So this is going to strip off all the old seasoning, gunk and carbon buildup, just like a lye bath, but this will not remove rust. If you need to remove rust after the easy off, you're going to want to build a vinegar bath. Luckily, those are very easy to set up. You could do one right in your kitchen sink for 40 minutes. Now, if you want to restore more than one piece of cast iron, I recommend you skip the easy off and you build yourself a live bath. It's simple, easy, and cheap to do. But again, if space is tight and you only have maybe one piece to restore, grab yourself a can of easy off. Let me show you how it's done. So in this video, I'm not restoring anything fancy. This is a modern lodge piece. This is actually my neighbors. They gave this to me like two months ago to fix up for them. Uh, it probably doesn't even need to be stripped down. It just has a tiny bit of rust. The seasoning's a bit uneven. So I really could probably scrub this down and season it. But I want to make this video to show you guys how to use the easy off method. So I'm going to use this piece. Nice and simple. It's going to be easy. Now, I don't do this very often. That's actually been a few years. And I would usually do this outside because the easy off does give off some nasty fumes, um, but it is crazy rainy and windy here in New Jersey right now, so I'm doing this in my basement. Again, this is oven cleaner and you use oven cleaner inside your house. Just make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Now, definitely make sure you have long gloves for both your hands. Now, what you're gonna see me do is spray down the skillet with easy off on this garbage bag i'm going to try and spray all of the surface areas whoopsie uh, all of the surface areas here and then i'm going to essentially turn this um, garbage bag inside out And you could see I try to spray as well as possible so I don't miss any spots. Now, with one hand, I'm going to attempt to turn this garbage bag inside out. All right, I managed to get the bag turned inside out. So the skillet's on the inside here. There's no lie now because this is the uh, outside of the bag. Now. You can let this sit for 12 hours, 24 hours. I usually recommend at least 24 hours. Um, and this works better in warmer environments. So if you're in the dead of winter and it's freezing your basement, it might take a few days. Again, this skillet is not in bad condition. It's not scaly and nasty. So I'm gonna check in on this in about two days, just to let it sit. I have a couple things going on tomorrow anyway. So I'll check back in in two days, see what it looks like. And I'll, after this, I'll probably run it just through one round in the vinegar bath before seasoning it. All right, so it's been about three and a half days in the bag. I'm going to try and take this out single-handedly here. There we go. All right, so it looks like a mess right now, but you can really see, especially like on the handle, all the old seasoning is off. So I'm gonna take this upstairs in my sink, scrub it down. So of course, when I scrub this down, I never hit the record button on my phone. So you miss me scrubbing it, nothing too fun to watch though. I use my SOS pad and warm water on this. And you can see how gray this is now. This is down to bare iron. Now you can see there's some spots here that looks like the carbon, the old seasoning is still there. That is the downside to the easy off. When you spray it, you might miss a spot or not get it that saturated where with the lye bath, it's going to do a better job. Uh, on the bottom, here, here, there actually is some rust, so it probably is good that we strip this down. Now the lye, or in this case the easy off, which has lye, is not going to get rid of the rust, so we're going to want to use a vinegar bath for that. And I'm hoping that that gets rid of the little bit of discoloration that's in there. It's actually looking better as it's drying. 
and this seasoning in here. I'm hoping it gets rid of that. Um, even if it doesn't, this is a $10 pan. I'm just gonna continue with the seasoning process. If this was like a Griswold or an old piece, I would tell you, put this back in another bag, spray it again with the easy off to make sure that's gone. But let's see what happens in the vinegar bath first. So I'm gonna put the skillet in the vinegar bath for about 40 minutes. And if you haven't seen my other how to restore videos here on YouTube, I'm gonna put a link in the description, so make sure you check it out. And if you haven't seen the video on how to set up a vinegar bath, I will post that link in the description. Okay, the pan was in the vinegar bath for about 40 minutes or so. I'm gonna scrub it down uh, with my SOS pad and cold water. All right, so after the scrubbing, you can see those rust spots came out. There's a bunch on the side as well. Tiny bit of discoloration here on the bottom. Cooking surface looks solid. Little bit of discoloration still here. Got a little bit of carbon that got left behind. Now, I've restored modern lodge pieces before, and although this is a cheap piece, really I should say very affordable piece, people do tend to knock them, but these things really take seasoning well. And the last time I restored Modern Lodge, I only had to put it through three rounds of seasoning where normally on antique pieces I'm doing at least four, maybe five rounds of seasoning to get it really dark. The last time just three rounds made it look great. And I have a feeling this is going to blend in really well with this seasoning. And a couple things before I get it oiled up. Again, I use cold water after the vinegar bath because this has no seasoning on it. So this will slowly start to rust. We call that flash rusting. Scrubbing in cold water slows that process down. So I'm gonna get this thing oiled up. I'm gonna run it through, let's see, three, maybe four rounds of seasoning. I'm not gonna film that just to make this video shorter. I will post the link in the description showing you how to season your cast iron if you have not seen that video yet. Okay, the skillet's been through three rounds of seasoning and you can see that that discoloration did blend in pretty well. It's pretty uniform, it looks great. So same thing for the bottom, pretty uniform. You can see that minor discoloration just a little bit. After a couple of uses, this should blend in beautifully. I mean, it looks great. And like I said, these modern lodges, they take in seasoning really well. And of course I use my cast iron crisp seasoning and maintenance compound. So easy off is a great alternative to a lye bath. Although I will recommend a lye bath over the easy off method. But if you don't have the room for a lye bath, or maybe you just want to restore a single piece, the easy off method is great.